I am speaking with Bob Russo, General Manager of the PCI Security Standards Council. Bob, this is the fifth year in a row I am interviewing you about, well, the PCI compliance at standards and, uh, well, why is it more important than ever? I mean, are the breaches going up now? Well, you know, actually uh, the breaches are not going up, the breaches are going down. It's still at the lowest level in 20 years of, uh, of fraud. Uh, but the big issue is that some of these bigger breaches that you're seeing, and you know, we have to remember to remind people that this is really not just about technology, because we're hearing a lot now about technology solutions that they think can solve this. It's about people, process, and technology. Uh, and up until now, of course, we don't know what's happened in these latest breaches, although if you read the uh, papers, you'll find that uh, everybody seems to know what happened except us. Uh, but uh, until we find out what's actually happened at these breaches, we have no reason to believe and everything that we've seen so far indicates that everything that uh, was done in these breaches is covered in one way or another uh, within the PCI standards. So uh, when all the information comes out, you know, if there is anything that needs to be updated, obviously we'll do that, but at this point it doesn't appear to be the case. One issue that I remember talking about geez, years ago was this whole issue of that compliance does not equal security, but what I've also heard is, well now compliance is now sort of talking with security professionals how to sort of close that gap so it's not always the case. What, what are you doing to, to close that gap? Well, the new version that we just released, 3.0, uh, wants to try and make PCI business as usual. Um, you know, you're absolutely right. Compliance certainly doesn't e equal security, and we see that all the time. Compliance is basically asking you to put a lock on your door. Security is making sure you lock it every day. And unfortunately, this is what we're seeing. People are basically studying for the test, if you will, passing the compliance assessment, and then leaving things open, being careless about some things, and this has been the case over the years. So again, it's an education process, making sure people understand what's going on, and unfortunately, when you breach like uh, the ones that have just occurred happens, it's a pretty big wake-up call to the industry. What do you think is the one area of compliance that most companies are having the greatest difficulty, I guess, you know, complying with, or just they're falling short on at, at, in the most cases? Well, you know, the majority of the things that we see out there are very, very simple exploits. We continue to hear a lot about malware and how sophisticated malware is, but the way they get the malware into the system, again, is the same old-fashioned way, break the perimeter and get this thing in. There are a myriad of ways to prevent that. We're seeing a lot of things with the default passwords at this point. I mean, if we could do away with default passwords, 90% of the breaches that we see would be, uh, would be alleviated. It would be a, a, a big win. We'd not move the needle like this, but we'd move the needle like that. Uh, so it's an education process. We're still seeing SQL injection. So until these low-hanging fruit types of exploits go away, until people tighten up, we're still going to see them. And there's really, you know, Nothing, uh, nothing that we can do other than educate people and let them know what it is they can do to prevent these things. Bob, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Okay, my pleasure. Good to see you again.